Lesson for All, daily at 6 a.m. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Yanni Grant, and the topic for today's lesson is Waiting and Mission. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for allowing us to see today. As we are about to study your words, we ask that you help us to understand what we are about to study and that we may apply to the furtherance of your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Luke 24 ends with Jesus' ascension into heaven. But that is not the end of the story. The author Luke continues writing the book of Acts. Just before Jesus ascended to heaven, he gave the disciples a mission, a promise, and immediate instructions to wait in Jerusalem from power on high. Jesus instructed the disciples to wait in Jerusalem until he fulfilled his promise to send the promise of the Father, that is the Holy Spirit, who would empower them to be witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and beyond. Jesus had given the disciples a clear mission. They were to witness for him to all the world. So, when they waited, they prepared for a mission in two ways. First, Luke says they continued in united prayer and supplication. There was no question in any of their minds about what the mission was that Jesus had given them, and they had accepted that mission. That mission inspired them to unite in prayer. Luke does not share what they were praying about, but it is most certain they were praying for wisdom, strength, and courage to fulfill the mission together. What an example that is for us today. The second thing they did while they waited was to prepare logistically for their mission. Judas had handed over Jesus for execution and then taken his own life. This had left a vacancy among the twelve. So as they waited, the disciples sought God's guidance and selected a replacement. In effect, the disciples were organizing themselves and planning the start of their mission. In making of these decisions, Peter played a leadership role. No one challenged his move. They all saw God's wisdom in it. There was an understanding and a trust that God was acting and working and moving in their midst. Their time of waiting was not idle, but was filled with purpose and mission-driven action. Likewise, brothers and sisters, while we wait for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit to help us complete the great, great mission of God, we too must unite to encourage each other and pray for God's Holy Spirit. Also, we should ensure that we are aligning ourselves and our church with God's priority, and that is the saving of those who are lost. That, my friends, is a lesson for all of us. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the mission that you have given unto us. We thank you for the example that your disciples would have set for us to follow in order to complete that mission. And so, Lord, we ask that you will empower us. Help us to unite in prayer and to pray for each other that we may all be able to fulfill the mission, and that is to bring lost souls to you. Save us in your kingdom, Heavenly Father, and continue to forgive us of all our sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It was a pleasure to have you today for another episode of Alpha. But do not forget to join us tomorrow for another exciting, exciting episode. We ask you to like and share this video so that others may come to know about.
about the love of Jesus. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.